Well, we had to call the fire department. Starting to burn the prairie. Right behind you, Annie. I'm using a new spray tank and the big tool rack and the coyote tractor. Nanny's driving. Okay, move forward a little. Alright, we had a couple sp small spot fires that were a little stressful, but we were prepared and it's going pretty well. Alright, we got the Coyote CK2610, the big tool rack, a Chapin spray tank for water. fire department jumped our fire line back over here into the woods the wind picked up like crazy all of a sudden it wasn't supposed to be windy at all when we started it wasn't windy then all of a sudden it just blew up so we got the fire department out and they helped us put it out super grateful just uh cautionary tale about doing prescribed burns you can lose it real quick so there's one spot where the fire jumped you can see where it just jumped over the path even though we were spraying water jumped over there caught all those dead leaves and started going out of control it also jumped over there more Show you that in a second, which was scary because that is the direction of our house. Here's another spot where you can see it jumped from here over to here and just catches these dead leaves and it just starts going and it's hard to get back in there with all the brush to stop it. This whole circle right here, we weren't trying to burn, but it happened anyway. You can see the line where it hopped across to the dead leaves. And then over here is another spot where it jumped, and this was the scariest one because this is in the direction of the house. So it jumped from there to over here. And again, it was really hard to stop because of all the underbrush and dead leaves. It just kept going. This whole pine tree right here was a fireball. Learned our lesson today. <laughs> have more people, have larger fire breaks. And let's just do it in winter. When there's snow, we can throw on it everywhere instead of dead leaves exposed burn. everywhere. And uh, it just kept going through there, that way, when our house is over there. So that was the scariest part. A really sad thing too is the volunteer firefighters told us no one's volunteering anymore. So we had two guys come initially, another truck came later, but no one's volunteering. So at some point we could call 911 and there might not be anyone available to come help. So if you're all interested in firefighting, 
please become a volunteer. They need you, especially in rural communities, small towns.